Okay, I just want to review some of my lessons about frame relay. I'm doing this for uh, my exam purpose. Now, I also like to share some of my knowledge, you know, on frame relay so, uh, with others. So uh, let's look at what I'm doing on this friendly uh, point to point topology and multi point topology and uh, both are using sub interface so uh, on this sub Nintendo 101 uh, I'm using point to point from here to there up to uh, 10.1.0.1 this one 10.1.0.1 slash 24 and uh, um, by the way, DLC, uh, which is locally significant, like I said here, locally significant. So uh, usually, it's provided by service provider, internet service provider. So um, for point to point, okay, let's look at my uh, 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 configuration on uh, router one. So what I did here is. Show run, show run. Okay, zero zero zero. This is uh, before you uh, uh, configure on self interface. Before you uh, declare the point to point self interface, you need to turn this on the physical interface and capsule with uh, command and encapsulations frame relay. Now after that, you have to sign. You have to sign in uh, the, the IP address on this server interface for point to point links. And then for the interface DLCI, it does need to use, need to declare frame relay interface DLCI, which is 20 in this, in this case. So after that, let's look at this point to point interface on the other side. You see, you see, um, frame interface 60. Like I said before, with this is locally significant, it doesn't need to mesh up with others, others' ends. So, uh, when you look at in this end, you see encapsulation frame relay and uh, frame relay interface DLCI 60. And uh, it doesn't need to map, okay, it doesn't need to map. To to the other ends, to the hub. This is the hub. This is hub and hub and spoke topology. You don't need to map to the other end. Let's look at this one. This is I, I just I just noted on, on on this side for this router too for this point to point link. This is dynamic dynamic mapping. Dynamic mappings it's relied on. Uh, regarding to the node set, uh, regarding the Cisco set, Cisco technology set, okay, um, it's a dynamic mapping, relies on inverse ARP. You don't need to say any uh, broadcast, I mean, or anything else, like, because you don't map, you don't map it, so it's dynamically, uh, dynamically mapped into the other ends. So, if you if I'm saying if I'm saying wrong, you can you can um, comment on the other side on, the, on on down below, okay? So it works, okay? Here, successful. Okay, and, uh, another issue is what I did is that I do. I mean, I did uh, multi points for. Okay, before I'm using, I'm I'm saying multi point. A multi point. Let's look at this note. Multi point. All router must be exist in the same subnet. In the same. Uh, let's look at ten dot two dot zero dot two. Ten dot. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten dot two dot zero dot one here. Ten dot two dot zero dot one. I mean ten dot zero three. Ten dot zero dot four. Okay. So in this case, I did not use, I did not declare frame relay interface DLCI. Okay, look at this one. 
you'll get this configuration for any of its DLC. I didn't declare on each routers. I didn't declare, but I did map to the other end. 10.2.0.1, 10.2.0.1, 10.2.0.1, which is the hub on this side. So this is static mapping. This is static mapping because you are using you are using friendly map IP. This this command on each routers on the spoke sides routers. Okay, static mapping. It's it's you. You would say, let's go ahead and map this uh, IP into the uh, friendly switch. So you are you are not rely on the inverse ERP. You are doing statically mapping the IP address into this friendly switch to reach to the other ends to reach the heart. That, that's what I'm understand. Okay, frame relay keep alive in the race. It's 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 ten seconds for every frame relay interface. In frame relay interface, it's really important to verify the uh, networks. It's three. Uh, usually, yes, three. Frame relay uh, show frame relay map. Show frame relay LMI show friendly pvc these are very important show friendly lmi usually look at the okay for example usually look at the um how's the traffic going on that I normally say uh also friendly pvc pvc sh shows the the error correction error correction also traffic is going on either the host uh, um, PVC status and then PV uh, LMI LMI shows the local management interface it's between the um, between the um, friendly switch and your um, customer side networks it's a local management interface so thank you thank you so um, I'm doing I think I'm doing great so yeah if whatever you think just comment give me some comments down below okay I just want to share my knowledge that's all okay you can look at on this side thanks